Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Hamster on Rails, which is an adorable puzzle game where we have to build a railway system to help a little hamster navigate their way through various levels, picking up important resources as they go. So we've got to make sure that the rails we put down get the hamster to where they need to go, but we do have limited rail pieces available, so we have to be a little bit careful. It looks really interesting, and as you can see from the menu screen here, it's also completely and utterly adorable. Look at the little hamsters there. And there's a cute little hamster that kind of poodles about the place in a minecart as well, which is very lovely. So I thought we should definitely have a play of this. This is the demo of the game. Well, in fact, you know what? It's a special fancy version of the demo given to us by the devs, which is very kind. So a big thank you to them. But the regular demo is available on Steam right now as part of the Steam Next Fest event thing, which concludes on the 20th of June. And as always, if you're interested, there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description below. But without any further ado, let's go and build a red way for a hamster. Okay, so there is the king of the hamsters sat atop a very uncomfortable looking stone throne, but okie doke. I mean, they are wearing a very good crown. That's a very good crown. Maybe not quite enough pointy bits on it for me. They've got kind of knobbly bits rather than pointy bits, but there is a nice cushiony bit in the middle. So well done on your lovely crown, your most hamstery highness. And then we're down here. So I think that's the king and that is us. So we're saying, hello, my king, you called me. So obviously we've been summoned here. So what does the king say? The king says, yes, as you are our best explorer, I need you to do a very important task. The situation is serious. Our ore stocks are at an end. And as you know, what do I know? Without them, our village cannot survive. It does look very industrial, the village. I mean, there's a house just there with lots of cog things around it. And there's some cogs over here as well. So it does look like we might need to sort of power things with ore. I can't help but notice this hamster over here. This hamster over here is living their best life. Look at this, they're just having a whale of a time, jumping up and down on this kind of very springy mushroom thing. They've got kind of weird googly eyes, and I'm not sure if that's their mouth or a bow tie or whatever, and they've got a little heart on their stomach. I mean, you're just wonderful. You're just wonderful. Can we just have you in the game? Can we just play hamster jumping up and down on a great big kind of bouncy mushroom game? Because that would be wonderful. Um, okay, maybe we need to get back to doing the whole kind of oars thing. Okay, without them, our village cannot survive. Okie doke. I need you to go on a journey looking for new sources of oars for us. Okay, we can do that. Please go and speak to our chief engineer for more information. Okay, absolutely. We shall be on our way. I will go immediately. It will be an honour to perform this task for my king and our village. Okie doke. So, crack of the king still talking. Thank you and good luck. And don't forget, the entire village depends on you. Okay, no pressure then, your highness. No pressure at all. Hopefully we're going to say that. Thank you, my king. And don't worry, I won't let you down. Okay, I thought maybe we could have gone crikey, pile the pressure on. Okay, is that the chief engineer? because they're wearing a very shiny kind of golden kind of builder's helmet. I like that. Hello, chief engineer. The king asked me to speak to you about my journey. Okay. Oh, look, there's another little hamster over there just doing some kind of, just doing some exercises, just doing some stretches before the kind of your know, mid-morning run or whatever. Um, so the chief engineer says, yes, indeed, we have everything prepared for your trip. But first, I want to give you some details. Your main task on this journey will be to assemble the path to the wagon. Okay, using the rails and pieces, we will provide you in each area. Okay, look, in all areas, you will have to collect the ore, as this is the mission the king asked you to do, okay, and get the key to open the gate and continue your journey. Okay, right, so pick up ore, get key. I can remember that. I mean, my memory is terrible. I can remember those two things. Yes, I understood, but what will my itinerary be? Itinerary? Crikey, just pick up the things. Um, your journey will be through four regions. Forest, desert, Aztec and medieval. It's got a bit crystal maze at the end there. Okay, so we're going to be in different areas. In each region, you will find different challenges, but don't worry. I will provide you specific tools to go through each of them. Any questions? No. How do we get there? Do we go on that through a magic portal? That'd be very exciting. No. All right. I'm ready for my journey. Okay, let's head off then, shall we? So the chief engineer says, oh, I almost forgot. You will have some help on this journey. Say hi to the player. Oh, Hello. Oh, we're here. Hello, hello, little hamstery friend. Hey, friend, good to have you with me. It will be of great help. Oh, this is wonderful. We're kind of involved in the game. Hello. Uh, wonderful. So get in the wagon and have a good trip. Okay, so we're going to hop up here, are we? Uh, thank you, Chief Engineer. Be sure that we will fulfill this mission. See you on our return. 
Okay, so the chief engineer doesn't even watch us go. Look, just goes back into his house. And we're going to get onto this thing and then go through what looks like a magic portal. And they put their arms out <laughs> like they're on a roller coaster. Wee! Okay, here we go. So I did do a little bit of the tutorial for this, so we should be okay. So there is the key. That's what we need to pick up. And there is the ore. That is the other thing that we need to pick up. And there are sometimes a third objective, which is an optional thing. But on this particular level, so level one of the kind of the forest zone, if you like, we don't have another objective. It's just pick up the key, pick up the ore, and then get out of the exit. And we have 11 straight bits of track and four curved bits of track. And then if we press and hold space, we can see where we're allowed to build. So because this is kind of like tutorial level one, we have to build here. But yeah, it's nice and straightforward. So all we do, we simply just sort of drop these into place and it's nice and simple. And then we'll just fill in the corner bits. Hang on, where does that go? So there you go. So we've got the straight bits of track in and now we've got four corner bits and we'll just drop those into position. Okay, so the track is built. So it will take us past the key, over the yaw, and then through to the exit. And we can sort of swivel around a bit. We can't zoom in or out, I don't believe. I think we can just sort of turn around like this. Um, but that should be okay. That should be okay. There's our little hamstery friend. I think we need to give him a name. I'm not entirely sure if he has a name. Uh, let's call him Harold. Let's call him Harold the Hamster, because I quite like that. Um, and then when we're done, when we have everything sorted, we just press that. And then Harold pootles about the place on his little minecart. Look at that. That is that is the most adorable of all the things. And the level's kind of animated. It looks wonderful. And there we go. We picked up the two things we need. And we've gone through the magic portal to the end. Okay. So now, what have we got? There is an optional thing here. I think it's that. Yeah, look there. So the icon here matches the icon on the floor. So we need to go over and pick up whatever is in that uh, that very, very tempting looking treasure chest. And now there is also a different type of sort of thing. That's a ah, ramp. OK, so again, I still think we're in kind of, you know, handholdy tutorial land. So if we get a ramp bit there and a ramp bit there, that means we can go across that kind of log. So if we then just sort of build that like that. Um, yeah, and if we build there and there and put a couple of corner pieces in, so that means we're going to go over the ore, pick that up, then go and grab the key. Now, how does this bit work exactly? How do we do this bit? Hang on a second. Hang on. Um, swivel back around that way. So we need a curved bit there. That seems to make sense. And I think as well, we need a curved bit there. I think, do we just have to go over that? Maybe if we stop off at that point... Because if, if we just drive straight into it, we're just going to crash into the treasure chest. And then we're going to, you know, we're going to end up sort of, you know, in a big heap with our minecart stuck inside the treasure chest. I imagine what we have to do is go kind of like that. Yeah, because we've got exactly the right amount of pieces. So we turn around at the end. And because we're on that square outside the treasure chest, we're going to kind of open up the chest itself. And I've realised I can't say treasure chest properly. Uh, okay, so let's do that. So you pootle along, Harold. So you go that way, pick up the key, then come round this way, and then, yeah, okay, you're next to the treasure chest, which is fine. Um, are we unlock? <gasps> we unlock different faces. Oh, that's adorable. Hang on a minute, hang on. Have we unlocked another thing? Oh, look, we can be... Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on. I quite like Harold. That's nice, but I like his little sort of smiley mouth. But I do like... I do like that pattern. So, okay, we'll have that skin. So Harold's kind of regenerated. He's gone into the second Harold. Um, okay, and then we get to the exit. Okay, there we go. So level two complete. I don't know how many levels there are in each kind of zone. I don't know if we'll get out of the forest zone or not. I'm not entirely sure. Hi, Traveller. I can't work at the mine. I left my pickaxe on the island. Can you help me? Uh, yeah, okay. I'm sure we can. Right, so you're over there. So... Okay, what we need to do is, yes, my friend, of course, I'll take it to you. You can leave it to me. Okay, so I think we've got to pick that up and then drop it off over there and then get out. Uh, okay, that's not quite as straightforward as I thought. We have got quite a lot of pieces, however, and where are we allowed to build? Okay, so the first thing has to be that there because we have to do that. And then the rest of it is kind of your know, fair game. Uh, but what does that do? What's that? Uh, not entirely sure what that is. Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, that's like a little, ah, it's like a step. Okay. Right, so I think we need to put one there and one there, and then we need to build up like that and up like that, and that's going to come down, that's going to come down. Hang on a second, hang on. Right, so swivel that round. So on the way out, 
Yeah, right. So this is fine. So that can lead us to the exit. That's okay. And then to get us over here, we need a right turn there. And then we need to kind of build across like that. Then hang a left. Then go straight on and pick up the chappie's pickaxe. Then go left again. Then go straight on. Then the top of here, we're going to need to go right very quickly. And then we're going to need to pick up the ore, drop the thing off with him, pick up the key on the way back. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. And we can build wherever we'd like. Okay, that's fine. Right, so then we go right. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Other, other right. Hang on a second. Hang on, hang on. I think. Is it mouse wheel? Um, I don't want to go left. I don't want to go in that direction, game. I don't want to do that. Thank you. That's not going to help us. Um... Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can we change the way that moves around? Hang on, if we put that at the end, like that, we'll sort of try and connect up like that. Although, hang on. Right, there is a way you can do this. I think if you press tab, we can then remove... Ah, we can remove that bit and put that bit in. Okay, right, that's fine. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll go back around like that. Then kind of build over in this direction. Um, we've got four corner bits left. So we're going to have to put a corner of it there and a... Oh, no, we can't build that. Hang on. No, right. That's not going to work. So come out come out of this. Uh, oh, no, hang on. Tab mode. Come out of that. Come out of that. Come out of that. We're going to need to get a straight bit here. And a straight... Hang on. Where can we build? Right, okay. So a straight bit there. Then a corner bit. Then a corner bit. Then a corner... Oh, this is very complicated. Right, so we pick up the pickaxe. And then we go along to see Chappy just there. And then we should have... Two corner bits left, and we go bop, and we go bop. Okay, right, here we go then, Harold. Let's see if this is going to work. So, you pick up the pickaxe, you picked up the special thing, and then you go around the corner, you look at the mine, you pick up the ore, which is kind of what we're here for. Then you drop off the thing at Chappie. Okay, hi buddy, here's your pickaxe. Hope I helped you. Oh, it's so nice. It's the most wholesome of all the things. Well, that's amazing. Thank you. Helped me a lot. Good trip. Oh, and the same to you. Have a, have a lovely mining experience. The bush kind of thing is moving around. I like the way the um, sort of totem things all turn about. That's quite fun. And there we go. We got to the exit and we completed all three goals. Wonderful. Okay. Oh, now we've got quite a lot of um, sort of step things. Okay. So there is another chest over there that we do want to get to. Because as we saw last time, when we opened the uh, treasure chest, which I can now say vaguely well, um, when we opened the chest up last time, we did get some nice kind of uh, sort of skin things. So maybe we should give that another go. However, I think our first job has to be to hang a right and then come this way, then kind of bend round on ourselves a bit like that. The only thing is we're going to have to get on top of this. So we need to put a buildy uppy bit there like that and then a right turn at the top. Okay, right. So that's going to pick up the ore and get us on top of this plank thing, on top of this sort of uh, log. Uh, where can we go there? Right, so go like that, then go to the right, and then just kind of head all the way down there. Where can we build? Hey, yeah, that's fine. Just build all the way like that, then go like that, and then come back that way. Put a couple of corner connecty bits in. That's not too bad. Now, this is where it's going to get complicated, isn't it? We need to go up and we need to go up. Okay, so hang on. So one, two, three... Oh, no, that, no, 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 that's not going to work. That's, no, 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 that's incorrect. Okay, so hang on. So remove that, remove that bit and remove that bit. Okay, come out of kind of edit mode. So if we put that in and then put that there, that's not going to work either. Okay, we might need, hang on, hang on. Build this bit first, connect that bit up like that. Um. Oh, we're out of... We're out of straight connecty bits. Uh, okay. Okay, that's interesting, isn't it? How, how are we supposed to do that? How are we supposed to finish that last bit off? Uh, I do not know. Okay, this is intriguing. Hang on a second. Hang on. Unless, unless, hang on, unless we put that like that. Right, so get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. What if we have to build a bit like this? So that connects... Then put that on top of there. So we're building kind of like stairs. There we go. Perfect. Okay, right. And then, yes, please. Come on, Harold. Right, so Harold picks up the lovely shiny ore. That's going to be good for the village and the kingdom and all that kind of stuff. And then we head over in this direction. 
we open up the treasure chest. Let's see what's inside. Um, oh, it's it's a it's a winky face. Yeah, we'll have the winky face. And uh, no, I like that one more. I like that one more. We'll go for a, we'll go for a, a nice sort of you know, cheeky Harold this time around. So there we go. And then we just make our way away from the chest up the hill. I don't quite know how these are powered. I don't know how the rails are powered, but you know what? I'm not bothered. It's a little hamster adorably going around the place. Okay. Ah, there's another person over there. Oh, they've got a sad face. Don't you worry. Hello, traveler. I threw my boomerang while hunting and now it's too far away. Okay. Would you like us to go and get it by any chance? Um, he's on your path. Could you please, uh, could you bring him to me, please? Okay. So the hamster is there, the boomerang is a him. Hello, friend. Leave it to me. I'll do what I can to help you. Oh, you're a good lad, Harold. Um, okay. So it's just there. I mean, that's quite the detour. We're going to have to go all the way round and all the way back again. Um, okay. And there is the way out. Okay. So I think in terms of the way out, where can we build? Right. That, that kind of, you know, does a little bit of the work for us. So we're going to have to kind of go round here. So we know that we need to build this bit up in a certain way. Um, yeah, okay, this is fine. This is fine. So we know that we need to build this around these corners. So let's just kind of get these bits in. Okay, that's fine. And then we just connect that bit and connect that bit. So that's the end of the trail done. Now we just need to get the rest of it done. Um, so I think I'm going to need a sort of a lifty uppy bit like that and a cornery bit. Okay, so that gets us up to the top. Uh, and then, yeah, we're going to have to pick up the ore and then pick up the key and then come this way and then maybe go back across the log. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do, possibly, I think. We place that down and road. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. No, no, I didn't do that right. At all. Hang on. Place that down, then go into that and road. Oh, hang on. No, I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Place that down, then rotate it, then rotate it like that. Grab one of those and put that like that. Connect the middle bit up. Right, and then we should be able to just kind of go straight down here because that's... Oh, hang on. No, 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 we can't do that, you fool. <laughs> because that, that is not how that's going to work at all. Right, I'll get rid of that bit. We're going to need to do this, I think, aren't we? So climb and climb and then put one of the straight bits like that and then... We might have to go back that way, possibly. So curved bit, then a straight bit, then a curved bit, then a steppy bit, then... Oh no, we can't do that. Because we can't go up and up. Because... Uh, oh yeah, we've only got two step bits. So we can get to the top, but we can't get back down again. Oh. Okay, right. Okay, hang on, hang on. First things, but maybe maybe not first things first. But maybe we should go and um, maybe we should go and pick up this stuff first. So let's go. Hang a left there. Go like that. Then go to the right. Pick up the ore, which is the main thing that we need to do. That's kind of our important job. Then go to the right. Then build a bit there and a bit there, and kind of come all the way along like that. Then have a corner piece and a corner piece and a straight piece. And a corner piece. Okay, so pick up the ore, pick up the key, then come this way, and then, yeah, then we kind of get stuck. Then we sort of get stuck. We've got a couple of bits left. We've got two, only got two sort of raisy up bits, uh, which, yeah, isn't gonna, that's not gonna fly, is it? We need to get up there, though. That's the only way we can get onto the final sort of bit over there. So we have to kind of go that way. So how on earth are we going to do this? Because we can't come back down. Oh, well, can we come back down? Hang on a second. Hang on. Uh, if we... No, because we've only got two of those. I was thinking if we could come back down... I oh, know we're not allowed to build there. I oh, know we can't build there. No, that's not going to work either. Okay. Okay, right. There's got to be a logical way to do this. I just can't see it right now. Uh, okay. Right. So if we come this way, we're going to have to go up this ramp. We have to go up the ramp to get the boomerang. That means if we then go there and there, and then build across like that, we're out of pieces. Okay, right. So maybe that's not the way we go. Maybe we don't do this bit. Is there a is there something else that I've not noticed that's really obvious? We've got four corners and three razy bits. 
but we haven't got anything else unless we're supposed to go up sort of from here or something i don't know maybe we build around here we go and grab the boomerang and then we go up uh, i don't know <laughs> I don't know. Evidently, I don't know because I've everything is stored. Progress is stored. Right. Hang on a minute. Hang on. I mean, this is me trying to do a puzzle game. So hopefully you're all buckled in. Um, right. Let me go and try and work out what I've done wrong. That is probably very obvious to lots of you, but not so obvious to me. Hang on a second. Do you know, I'm completely and utterly baffled as to how we get that boomerang and deliver it to the little hamster chappy over there. I just cannot work it out at all. I can work out how to get the ore and the key and then just leave with those. But I can't figure it out. I just don't know what to do. Because, yeah, we don't seem to have enough of these bits. We don't seem to have enough of these sort of the track elevated kind of things. We've only got six of them. So if we built a very simple track coming round here, say, we'd have to go up to this bit here. So that's two. We need to put two of the elevated bits to get onto this kind of raised bit of ground here. And then we need two to get back down again or two to go up onto that log. And then two to either get down the log or go back up again. And that means we're stuck here, so we can't get back onto the so the final bit of elevator ground over here. We, we need eight of those, not six. And I cannot work out for the life of me how we are supposed to do that. I just can't figure it out. Um, I mean, I'll go back and have another look, but I just can't see what we're supposed to do. I mean, it makes sense. Kind of the path we did before made perfect sense, but we just don't have enough of those bits. So that's, yeah, to get up there is two. To get up on top of the log is another two. To come back down is two. But then we're not able to get up onto this log and then leave. So I don't quite know how we're supposed to do that. I am I am most perplexed. I really don't get it. Unless there's something clever that we can do that I've not seen. Like go across the water or something. But I don't think we can. I don't think we can do that. So I'm not entirely sure. I mean, yeah, that'd be two to get up to there, wouldn't it? If we built up there. Two to get to there. Ah, but then we'd have to come across the top of the log thing and then we'd be stuck. Yeah, I can't work it out. I can't figure it out. I think we might have to leave our poor little hamster friend in the lurch for a bit. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, he, he could, you know, go and get that boomerang. He could just go and get it really easily because he's able to use his legs. We're in a little minecart thing. So, yeah, we can't just walk around quite as easily as Chappie over there can. I mean, maybe just walk over and pick the thing up. But yeah, I can't figure it out. I cannot figure it out for the life of him. We're looking for a little while. And yet yeah, we need two more of these and it will be absolutely fine. But we haven't got two more of those. And I can't quite figure out what we're supposed to do and how it's supposed to work. So, um, so yeah, we might have to leave him in the lurch. I'll have one last quick little look just to see if anything does kind of, if anything does leap out and inspire me. But I don't think it will. Okay, so there's a path that picks up the ore, picks up the key, and then gets us out of the door at the end. Disappointing our little friend over there. Yeah, you know, I just can't see it. I cannot see how we do that. Got four cornery bits, ten straight bits. Four lifty up bits and two kind of sort of you know, elevated track bits. But I don't know how to I don't know how to get across to this platform here and then get down again with only two bits. I, I can't I just can't work it out. So I'm really sorry, friend. We're gonna disappoint you because I can't work it out. My brain isn't capable of figuring this out. So um yeah, we'll just kinda do this. There we go. I mean, would it have been worth trying to go through the through that instead of Instead of maybe over the top of it. I do not know, but it's a bit too late now. So, hello, don't look him in the eyes. Don't look him in the eyes. Um, gosh, friend, I'm sorry. I couldn't get you your boomerang. I j yeah, I, genuinely, I have tried an awful lot. What a pity, traveller. I can't go without hunting. Uh, can you try to catch him again? No, because I've looked. I've looked for so long and I couldn't figure it out. The only hope we have is that you can go through this, through this kind of tree thing. Um, do you know what... <laughs> Okay, let's give it a try then, shall we? Let's give it one quick try. Can we go, just as a bit of a test, hang on. So if we um, if we break that apart, just as a test, can we, can we, oh no, hang on a minute. Uh, place that down, switch it round, turn that round. Can we go through this thing? If we then get rid of, get rid of that bit. Uh, no, this isn't working well at all. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> so many things. Can we go through here and out the other end? Let's just press go and we'll see what happens. And if we can't do that, then I do not know. But yeah, there's no track in there. I imagine he's going to hit the tree trunk and say, oh, hang on a minute, we've crashed or whatever. Um, yeah, nothing happens. Uh, the path is over. We haven't reached the goal. We have to reevaluate re what we've done. Yeah, okay, no, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> 
I'm really sorry, friend, but I genuinely am completely and utterly baffled. I don't even know if that's remotely possible. It doesn't seem like we need more bits like that. So, um, yeah, we'll just get through to the end and we shall disappoint our very sad hamster friend. Sorry, buddy. Okay, so no, we couldn't try to catch him again because I have no idea what to do. You'll have to go and get it yourself. I mean, it seems easier for you to do it than us. I'm really sorry, but that was just completely befuddling. I just didn't get that at all. Unless we've missed out on something that possibly we were supposed to have learnt in the tutorial that I didn't cover or something, but that seemed to me particularly impossible. Okay, right, so we've got ourselves the two objectives and then a lovely kind of chest over there. I mean, it looks to me like we should head down that way, pick up the ore and then pick up the key and then leave. That seems like the most sensible approach. So if we kind of, uh, yeah, if we go there and there, bend round that corner and then, okay, then we're going to have to come like that that's going to need one of those and then we're going to need some of these sort of lifty bits again but that's fine and then a bit there okay so that gets us to the end so that gets us in fact you know what if we play it right hang on a second uh go around the corner okay so that gets the ore and the key and then goes out of the door so i think i think we turn round this bit here and then come down this way so go like that and then a couple of bits that drop us downwards, which is very nice. And then we've got two more to drop us down to just there. So that should be okay. I think that is okay. So we've got five bits. So one, two, three, four, five. So that gets us to there. Hang on a second. How are we going to connect this bit up? That comes down like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, okay. No, that's, that's, that's not going to fly. That's not going to work because we're going to crash into a, the wall of a mine. Um, okay, do we need to come round the corner ever so slightly? So get rid of that. Uh, that's going to have to come down like that, isn't it? Like that. Okay, and then if we get rid of that bit and then go right and then oh, hang on, like that and like that. So we're going to swivel round the corner and then we have one bit there and one bit there. Okay, now that's going to work. That's going to work. It's a little bit twiddly around here, but that's fine. Right, so we go past the chest. What do we get? What exciting goodies have we unlocked? Oh, that's better. He's got, a, he's got a crazy kind of smiley face. And what pattern do we have? Nah, I still like that one. I still like that one. We'll change Harold's face, though, because he looks a lot jollier like that. Yay, there you go. Happy Harold. Um, oh, okay. Hang on. I pressed a button I wasn't expecting. Okay, right. We'll carry on, please, game. Okay, so he jumps out of the thing as well. He does little jumps when he goes down. Like, Wee! Okay, well done, Harold. Okay, so then we get to the exit. So that was level six complete. Yeah, I don't know how many there are in each kind of zone. I'd like to think that maybe there's ten in each. It'd be good if we could get to the next level, wouldn't it? If we could get, not the next level, the next kind of zone. That would be quite nice, just to see what that looks like. Um, so many mushrooms to pick, and just today my shovel fell down the hill. Can you help me? I mean, if you took, go, if you go and talk to Boomerang Hamster, he would say, no, we're useless. But we'll give it a jolly good shot. So we start there. Uh, yes, don't worry. I'll do my best to find your shovel. So there is the shovel. So we need to pick that up and then come back up and carry on over here. I mean, let's start at the end. That seems to make sense. So if we sort of build like that, where can we build on here? Okay, so we're going to have to come like that, then round, then round, then reposition that so it's pointing down there. Yeah, we're going to have to come... Oh, there's a thing in the way. There's a knobbly bit. Um, okay, that's fine. So we come down off that, then we have to go round the edge, and then down like this, and then down there. So do we need to come right? Yeah, we need to go. Oh, hang on, the key is there, though. That's going to be a bit fiddly, isn't it? That's going to have to come round like that, is it? Oh, dear, this is getting all a bit fiddly. Uh, yeah, pop that in like that, that like that. And then up and then up and then a straight bit. Okay, so that will... No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, there for the straight bit. There we go. Right, and then bring that around like that. So then we're going to have to somehow... Get the ore as well. So we picked up the key. So I think, yeah, let's work our way backwards toward the ore then. Just to make sure that we know that we can pick that up. Because that's kind of our basic stuff. That's the bread and butter stuff that we need. So put that on a curved bit, I think. Um, and then like that. So straight bit connecting those. How many bits have we got? Only nine straight bits left. 
Oh, crikeys. Okay, we're going to go through those pretty quick, I imagine. Uh, right, so a cornery bit and a cornery bit. And we'll have another cornery bit and another cornery bit. So we've managed to get all that way around there without using a straight bit. Um, possibly a cornery bit just there. And then we're going to have to have a straight bit. Then we need to put that like that and then go boop and boop. Okay. And then we can have a corner there. Connect that up like that. Then have a straight bit. Then have another corner to pick that up. Oh, maybe there's too many cornery bits there after all. Maybe we do have enough straight bits. Um, hang on. Then we need to get back up off of here. So then we need to have a bit there and a bit like that and a bit like that. We're going to need a corner at the top somewhere so maybe like that possibly and then a straight bit to connect them up and a strip yeah we're out of we're out of corner pieces hang on so we can we can get up here look that's absolutely fine and then we've got straight bit and a straight bit so it's just a case of rejigging this down here okay that's fine so do we take out those there Put a corner bit in like that. Hopefully that will all link up properly. No, it's not linked up properly at all. And now we've got two cornery bits. And there we go. Okay, right. Give that a go. So we pootle down here. We jump out of the thing. Little bit dangerous. Little bit dangerous. You haven't got a helmet on or anything. Right, and then we come round this way. We pick up the iron ore, whatever it is, the magic ore, whatever the stuff is. We pick up the magic MacGuffin thing. And then we pick up the key. And we come round this way, and we go up here, and then we drop it off with the chappy. And I can't quite recall I mean, what we're going to get. What are we going to get from you? You don't need to be so sad anymore. Woohoo, you found my shovel. Thank you so much. Now I can pick these juicy mushrooms. You're more than welcome. You're more than welcome. And you can make uh, you can make uh, Boomerang Guy very jealous. No problem, but be careful not to drop it again. <laughs> okay, just stop dropping things. Um, okay, so we just go to the next level. We don't get anything for that. We didn't get a nice little sort of prize or anything. It was just a case of, right, there you go. Okay, so now we're back on a, a regular level without any sort of demands of people. And um, where's the way out? Uh, oh, it's all the way up there. Okay. So the way out is all the way up there. Uh, where, are, where are we? Where are we? We're there. There's a treasure chest there. Oh my goodness me. This looks very tricky to work out. Um, okay. So I think... Uh, oh, you can't... Oh, right. Okay. Well, I mean, that sorted that bit out then, hasn't it? So it looks like we have to go across these things to pick up the chest. So that's okay. So hang on a second. So up and up. And that just goes straight up like that. So if we build a path around here, we know that these have got to go like this. So that's nice and simple. We can just go click, 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 click. That's very easy. Uh, okay, now we need to get down from there, which is okay like that. Uh, and I imagine we have to come round that way to get the key. But how are we going to come down here? So we're going to have to come down here. How are we going to get back up again? How are we going to get back up? That's... Okay, this is quite tricky. This is a little bit trickier than I thought it was going to be. Because um, we're going to have to come down like that... So if we build a bit like that and a bit like that, and then connect that up. The other thing is, how do we then get out from there? Because we can't leave this bit. We're stuck up here because that's in the way. Uh, okay, th okay, right. This is this is seemingly a bit trickier than some of the other ones that we've had. Um, unless we come that way, then we can't drop down like that. We have to come out like down here. Then we can't get back up that way. I'm not entirely sure how that's... How are we going to do that? Okay, right, hang on a minute. This requires more brain power, more than I might actually possess. Okay, right, hang on. Let me just stare at it for a bit and hope a solution jumps out and boops me on the nose. Okay, I wonder if we've got to use this as a kind of platform to build a little kind of turny bit on as well. Maybe that's what we need to do. I'm not entirely sure where that's going to fit. I've kind of got this bit down here sort of connected up. It's not there you go. It's sort of okay down that side. But um, yeah, maybe we have to kind of put, look, we can put anything on there. So maybe we're supposed to build, like use these to build up a little bit and then have like a turny bit on them. Does that make sense? So hang on a second, hang on. So we need to come out here somehow. So if we build up 
like that and then have a bit like that and then say okay just there have a turny thing and turn it round maybe this is what we were supposed to do with um with the boomerang person i didn't i didn't know you could do this i thought that was just to raise up the angled ones the sort of you know, the elevate rails but no maybe we can do this with all of these things okay that would make sense wouldn't it that would make sense right and then drop that down drop that down so we're going to come down here and then we're going to pick up the ore that's okay so hang on which rail is this we pick the ore up right and then we have to come back this way so Okay, yeah, I think I get it. I think I see how that's going to work. Right, so put a bendy bit there and a straight bit and a straight bit and a straight bit and a bendy bit. Right, so that's going to get us all the way down there. Pick up the ore, come all the way around, get the key, get the chest open. Then come down here, a couple more ramp bits like that. Then have a turny bit. Then turn the turny bit round so it's turning the right way. Then just, yeah, we can build straight kind of bits all the way through there. We've only got two straight bits left, however. There are only two straight bits left. <laughs> um, okay, right. That certainly adds complications to things, doesn't it? Because I hadn't factored that in. Do you know what? Let's try and figure out how we get up and down this ramp bit first. So hang on, we're going to need a bit like that. So we're going to need uh, a bit like that and a bit like that and a bit like that and a bit like that. Okay, right. So that's good. And then we have a bit there. And then that needs to come down to here. And then we connect those up with that. Do you know what? I think that's okay. I think that might just about sort it. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, maybe that's what we were supposed to do with um, with Boomerang Guy. And I just thought they were for lifting up the elevated bits rather than any bit of track at all. Okay, never mind. Sorry, Boomerang friend. Sorry, we messed up a little bit there, but um, okay, right, here we go. So let's make sure we open the chest up and see what's inside. And come on, give us something good. Oh, no, 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 that's unacceptable. Not having that, please be really good. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, he's he's got a lightning strike in his head. Is that the, the, is the ha hamster potter? That doesn't work. Harry hamster potter. Okay, yes, look at that. That is very good, with a bit of a lightning thing in his head. And then you can just make your way through to the exit, please. Just make your way through to the end, and we'll go to level 9 and see what level 9 looks like. I would like to get to another zone. I think that'd be interesting, just to see what the other zone looks like. I mean, maybe there's eight levels in each zone. I have no idea at all. We will find out when uh, when Harold makes his slow but steady way to the end there. Um, so let's see where we end up next. No, we're still in the forest and it's raining as well. So there we go. It's like a British summer's day. Um, hello, I need your help, says Hamster over here. I came out here to cut trees to get firewood and light my fireplace, but it started to rain hard. Yep, so I can see. Okay, what do you need help with? Just get an umbrella. It's raining really hard. I'll look around and if I find it, I'll take it for you. Find what? What am I looking for? <laughs> what am I looking for? Oh, your axe. It's over there, dude. I mean, you... It's just there. I can see it. Walk over and pick it up. My goodness me. Okay, right. So now we're all the way up here. So it, look, it looks like we go right past the axe anyway. So that's not so bad. This doesn't look as complicated as other ones. Um, however, I notice we have a new piece. We have a new piece, which looks to me like a kind of intersecting piece. It looks like something like that should go around there somewhere. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to have to sort of figure out all these twiddly bits around the corners. Um, so that's a corner, that's a corner, that's a corner. Right, so connect all those bits up. It looks like, yeah, we've kind of got a bit where you go across one way and back around the other way. Okay, that's fine. Um, oh, this is going to be a little bit fiddly as well, isn't it, around here? Okay, that's no, all good, it's all good. Um, hang on a second, get rid of that bit. Okay, so build up and up. Get some cornery bits to go around here. So we've started at the end again, but that's okay. Right, and then go up and up. Um, I think this should be okay. I think it would just be a case of building a fairly straightforward path. Um, yeah, let's get that done. Let's get the path bit sorted. It should be okay. There we go. I think that should do the job. So let's have a little look. So we should come down the hill, and that's quite a hill, so you can have fun there. Then you go over one of the new kind of intersecty bits. So that takes you back round across this way. So you've picked up the sort of axe thingamajig, then you've picked up... Oh no, hang on! Hang on, no, stop, 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 stop! <laughs> hang on, hang on, no, roll back, roll back. I haven't, um, 
I haven't gone to meet the hamster. I haven't gone to give him his things back. Um, and that's why there's another intersecty bit. Okay, okay, that's fine. So we come this, so we come this way, and then we go round. Uh, oh, hang on, hang on. I see what the game is getting us to do. So because it wants us to use the new pieces, I imagine we're going to come round. Hang on, how's that going to work? So we need to come back round through the... Hang on, we go like that, go like that, go like that. But there's not enough pieces. Are there enough pieces? Hang on, right bit, left bit, left bit. And there should be 14 bits. Uh, oh no, that doesn't get the key. That doesn't get the key. Ah, botherations. Okay, right. No, this isn't as straightforward as I thought it might be. Um, so, yeah. So, we need to come round that way to pick up the key to go up there. Oh, I can't. Wow, this is this melts my brain. Uh, okay, right. Hang on. It comes down here. If there's normally... It's on a crossroads where you have the intersecty bits. So, we'd come that way and then go round that. How's that going to work? How are we going to make that work? Oh, no. Right. Okay, fine. Fine. We're going to have to sort of fiddle about with this bit. But yeah, it's kind of over here. So we've picked up the axe. That's fine. We've picked that up. We just need to give it to our little friend over there now. And I'm not entirely sure how we go about doing that right now. Hang on. Let's just kind of remove some of these bits and just maybe have another little sort of another little look at what we need to do with this. Okay, I think I see what we need to do. We need to go round that way. So we come round here, we go across the front of that, we then say hello to hamster friend. Oh, the only thing is we've only got one cornery bit now. And we need many cornery bits. We've only got three straight bits. Um Okay. I don't think there's anything we can do about that. I think we have to go certain ways. Yeah, I thought we'd come round this way, cut through the intersecty bit, come round the back and then carry on going out that way. But we are, yeah, two cornery bits short. Is there something we can do to give ourselves a couple of cornery bits back? Uh, I don't think there is. Hang on a second. Is there anything we can do to try and rectify this? Oh, maybe there. Maybe that bit there is too elaborately sort of twiddly. Maybe we just need a straight bit over there. And now we've got the two bits left we need to make this all work. Okay, right. Now go, Harold. Go, go, go. Be careful as you come down the big ramp. Although it is very exciting. Oh, you can go up that elevation as well. Okay, there you go. Right, so we picked up the axe thing. We now come this way. So we go past the big totem pole thingamajig. Over the little crossroads. Hello, how are you? Here's your axe that you could possibly have got yourself. Uh, uh, thank you very much. I'll wait for the rain to stop to go away. Uh, good luck on your journey. Thank you very much. Thank you for making it infinitely more complicated. Right, pick up the key. Then we come down here, down another very big, exciting ramp. Whee! Don't jump out. <laughs> Where's your seatbelt? And then... We're going to come round here, we pick up the ore, and we come back round this way, and then we get out over there. Okay, okay, right, so that just required a little bit of kind of restructuring of uh, of the path over there. It used up too many wibbly bits, sort of, you know, twiddly bits, and not enough straight bits. Okay, that's fine. Right, level 10. I think we complete this. Let's complete level 10, and then we'll see where we are after that. If we're still in the forest, then maybe we'll call it a day. But if we go to a different level, then perhaps we'll have a go at the first, uh, not a different level, a different kind of region. If we go to a different region, we'll have a look at the sort of first level of that. But right now, we need to get this all sorted. And it is just a case of picking up the two bits, going to that chest over there, and getting out of here. Yeah, okay, I think we can manage that. So hang on, I think there's going to be a bit like that just there, isn't there? Um, we've got to go all the way up there to pick that up. Where are we? So we're just there. So we're going to have to turn... Hang on a second. So if we go like that, we're going to have to come down this way because I can't see any other way that we can get around there. So connect that up. Okay, that's fine. And then we're going to come along here. Then we need to go back up a bit. Hang on a minute. So get rid of that. So then we need to go up and up. And then we're going to need to go right at some point. Hang on a second. Let's see if it snaps to it a bit better. There we go. Right, and then we go all the way along here. We have got quite a lot of these um, sort of straight pieces. So that should be okay. Uh, there is a sort of a definite sort of, uh, sort of crossover bit just there that I can see. That should be fairly straightforward. So hang on. So build those bits in. Build the corners in. 
that's not, I like that. I like it when that just works. That's good. Um, okay, so pop that there and like that and like that. And then connect that bit up. Right, so we're going to be able to go and grab the key fairly early on. Ah, but what do we do about the ore? Because the ore is all the way up there. So hang on a second. Hang on. Do we need to kind of change our plan here a little bit? Do we need to, yeah, get rid of those bits? Do we head up in that direction? Possibly. Do we have to head up there? I can't see any other way of how we're going to get up here. So I think we might have to go up there. Pop a little bit like that. So build up and up. Then we go to there. Then how are we going to get down? How are we going to get down and back round to that thing? Oh, that's that's going to be a hot mess, isn't it? That's going to be awful. Um, okay, right, hang on. First things first. Let's get the basic things done. So uh, we can go round like that. Okay, so we come round here. We loop round. We pick up the ore. And then we're just here. However, could we then come back down? Yeah, if we do that and just twist that round. Yes. Okay, right. This is fine. Then we come down, then we come down, then we twizzle around again, then we pick up the key and do a bit of a loop. Then we go there, then we go there, right, and then we need a thing like that. Then we have a little bit of an exciting kind of a plummet, if you like, down to the ground. Uh, like that. Oh, hang on a minute. We need another thingamajig. Hang on a minute. Like that. Oh. Uh, and then we're out of... We're out of... Oh, hang on a minute, hang on. Have we got to build up like that? Ah, we're using them as a platform. Okay. Right. And then we've just got to kind of build our way to over here and go and pick up the key, which should be fine. So hang on a second. So uh, corner, corner, corner. Uh, straight bit, straight bit, straight bit. So we're going to go round the edge. Uh, not the key, the treasure chest. So going round that way, pick up the chest, fill that bit in there, and then... Just head on over this way. So how many corner bits have we got left? So we've got four corner bits and two straight bits. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. That might be a little bit of an issue because it looks like we might possibly need... Hang on, replace that. Then replace that. Uh, that's a corner bit. Hang on a minute. That needs to be a corner bit, but rotate it around. Then three straight bits. Oh, it's beautiful. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Let's get this done. Come on, Harold. Let's go. We Right. So now we're going to use that kind of sort of crossroady bit. So we go up here. I don't quite know how we go up the hill. We must have a little kind of train engine in there. So, hooray, we've picked up the ore. That's all very good. Then we come down this way. We grab ourselves a key, which is marvellous. Then we go all the way down here. Hold on to your hat. I stop jumping out. <laughs> Health and safety. Right, then we go round here. We get to the chest. We go, hooray. Right, what new good things? Oh, yes. Smiley happy face. And uh, now nah, I like that one more. I like that one more. Okay. Oh, no, I didn't confirm it. I don't think I confirmed it. Never mind. No, we'll go and sort that out in a bit. Um, and then we head round here. And we go here into the exit. Right, so we've completed level 10 of the forest. Do we go to a different bit of the world now? Or are we still in the forest? Uh, no, we're still foresty. Okay, there must be quite a lot of levels. Oh, and you've got funny eyes. I came to finish sculpting this totem, but I forgot my hammer. Can you help me find it? I think it might be around somewhere. I mean, your hammer is right there. It's not that far away from you, my good sir. You could go and get that yourself. You could have a little walk, a little stretch of the legs, and you could go and pick that up. But no, that's fine. We'll go and get that for you at some point, I imagine. But I think for now, we will wrap things up with Hamster on Rails. I think we've had a very, very good look at the game. And we've seen how it works and what it's all about and all that kind of stuff. And you know what? It's very enjoyable. It's very, very lovely. It's very adorable. We've got lots of little sort of lovely hamster characters. And they're all kind of, they've got a bit of character. That one's wiggling his ears and he kind of jumps out of the little cart as he goes down hills. That hamster's wiggling around as well. And the world does at least kind of have a little bit of life to it. You know, the mines are sparkly and the mushrooms kind of wiggle about the place. And, you know, things move. It's not just kind of a static world. The totem things all twizzle about. So, I mean, yeah, that does add a little bit of sort of a little bit of colour and excitement to the little levels. They're very nice indeed. And in terms of the actual puzzle element, I mean, I think it's quite good. It's sort of, it's not too difficult that I'm picking my computer up and chucking it out the window, except maybe boomerang level. But now maybe in hindsight, we could possibly have done that a bit differently. But, um, you know, it's kind of, it's challenging enough to keep your brain ticking over, but yeah, it's not completely impossible that you're stumped and can't proceed. 
know, with a little bit of kind of trial and error, you can sort of get through. Although I notice we have only unlocked half of the sort of track pieces. I don't know what the rest of these would be. I mean, bridges, I imagine, might be a thing to go over gaps, possibly. So instead of going up and down, kind of, you know, into valleys and then back up again, you could just have a bridge, maybe. Maybe that would be a thing. I don't know. I don't quite know what the rest of the bits would be. I'm not entirely sure. But I mean, yeah, the level of difficulty is about right, I would say. It's, you know, it's very sort of, it's quite laid back. It's not like you have to really, really concentrate super hard on it. You can sort of play it in a more casual way, which is very good. But yeah, I think we have had a good look at it. And yeah, we'll finish up for now. But yeah, it's been very, very enjoyable. So yeah, we'll bid farewell to Harold the Hamster. Cheerio, Harold. Hopefully you can continue your quest and pick up loads of ore. It's a little bit of a shame that we didn't get into a different kind of environment. I can't remember what the next one was but there were four weren't there and we're still in the forest one it would have been nice had we got to a different one to see like an Aztec level or whatever the other ones were but never mind never mind I think you know we have had a very good nose of the game and I think we'll finish with it for now hopefully you have enjoyed this if you have please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs that we get up to in the geek cupboard but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and I will see you next time okay hang on not quite the end got a little bit of additional footage because I did want to go and get the boomerang for our little friend there and um, yeah you can do it by just building this bit up here look at that so we picked up the boomerang and then yeah we don't have to go down quite as far so we don't need as many of the kind of you know raising lowering track bits we kind of just built this up entirely so it goes down a little bit but it's not all the way down to the ground and that means we can give Chappie his boomerang because there we go I wouldn't have been able to sleep had I known that he didn't have his boomerang so there you go friend you've got your boomerang and now we can wrap things up right cheerio folks right if we connect to there and open the door we're gonna get vaporized by this laser and there's an electronic thing which looks like a sad kind of game boy <laughs> I'm a tiny little sort of sort of stick person in a in a computer. I can't steer the train as such. And look, we are outside and we're in a gutter. Oh, happy days. Hello, Leaf.